I guess I'm recording. I think I am. I thought I would have my lunch with you today. I'm having um tuna with egg. Tuna is good for your heart. I'm pretty hungry today. Well, I'm not really that hungry, but I have it on crackers. I don't like all that bread. How oh. you get to see me eat? How fun for you! <laughs> Anyway, I'm having crackers with the bowl of tuna salad. Well, I didn't put any onions and I didn't put any um, relish in it, which is supposed to have in there. I'm drinking diet right. Just a light lunch. <laughs> um, I only had a salad for dinner last night. I'm pretty happy about that. Of course I have my chocolates, but I have my dark chocolates, because those are the ones that are good for your heart also. You know, trying to eat better. Hmm. I know I put eggs in this. I know there's that big egg recall. Well, I ate one of them last, yesterday morning I didn't get sick. So, I'm taking another chance I guess to eat more. Because they are from Sunny Farms, which is the big egg recall. But I say they always freak out too much every time they do stuff. You know. So. Oh well. <laughs> this is a light lunch. Not too heavy. But it'll hit the spot. So. Um, I hope you don't mind if I munch in front of you. Um. I just gave my doggy a bath to kill the fleas. Hmm. Um. I have one more dog bath to give. Um. I watered my plants. Fed the birds. Um. My daily routine. Well, not bad. <laughs> not dog baths. Um. I almost filled me up right there. Just those three four crackers. It don't take me much to fill up at all. Um But I'm still fat. And that's because I I still like to have a sweet tooth. And I like to munch on candies. Some sugary things. Not I haven't had donuts in a long, long time. And lately, since I've been singing a lot, which I do a lot of that every day, it keeps my mind occupied off of food. And when I do eat, I do eat because my body tells me I'm hungry, not because I'm eating to be eaten. Although sometimes I do eat out of stress. Um, what else? Um, well... It was, it's cool this morning, and I was like, feeling like a little booty shake because of the coolness. I love the coolness. Oh, I'm so sick of this heat. And, um, what else? How many minutes do I have? I don't want to go too crazy. Four minutes. Um, well, I can't complain about anything. I have a blessed life, I feel like. I know it could be better, but I still consider that I have lots of blessings I can count. And so I really can't complain about anything. So, mmm. Sorry. <laughs> I love tuna. Um, it's good for you, you know. Good for your heart. You should have fish once a week. I'm trying to read up on things that are good for your heart, you know, garlic and all that stuff. And I noticed something very interesting I thought I'd share with you. For all you uh, people who like to eat out a lot at fast food restaurants or even restaurants, period, I'm not sure. I have noticed something very, very, very important in, in my life. 
since I quit eating out so much, I really have stopped a lot of that. Um, I eat at home. I, I cook. So I eat a lot of my own cooking. And since I have done, since I have done that, I have noticed that my flagellation problem, for those who don't know the medical term, farting, <laughs> uh, has ceased. I find that extremely interesting that I don't flagellate like I was before. Um, eating out, a lot of times when I was eating out, uh, I did so much of that. So much gas. Here I'm belching <laughs> as I speak. But it's good to belch. I mean, I usually don't because my medicine that I take doesn't allow me to. So anyway, um, I've noticed that I do not have the gas I had when I was eating out two and three times a, a week at restaurants, eating out. And that just kind of concerns me. It's like, what are they putting in their food out there that makes you want to go have so much gas? You know, gastric problems. So, I'm just wondering if eating out, stopping eating out like I have done so much of now, and if I do, I usually like to eat at this, my favorite Chinese restaurant because it is the best food and I don't get gas from them because it's all vegetables, which I really enjoy. I love my veggies. So I would suggest to you, if you do a lot of eating out, you might want to reconsider because I don't think it's doing your stomach very much justice. I think that you need to eat more at home. If you don't cook, maybe you ought to learn. You know, I love to cook. I cook every day. And it's worth it when I get done making a meal and I sit down to a meal, I get a sense of accomplishment, artistry, and it is just so darn good. My food is so much better than eating now, it's not even funny. Except for maybe, I do like the Olive Garden. <laughs> I like that salad. And we only order, the two of us, we only order one meal. And we can split that because we both do not pig out when we go out to eat. Um, and I will admit that a couple weeks ago we went to um, the Ponderosa, which is all you can eat, and I was so shocked and amazed at the people that eat there. They are like four and five hundred pound people that I'm thinking do not, should not be in there. Um, I'm like totally amazed. I'm thinking this is the last place you should be visiting if you're four and five hundred pounds. Or, you know, I mean, there was people in there that looked like they were five and six hundred pounds. And it kind of made me not say to myself, I'm going to go for a one-shot deal. I'm just going to eat one-shot deal. Of course, we ordered a meal. And so, my, all I went up for was a salad. And I just thought, you know, this is just insane and crazy, you know, to, 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 Wolf it down when you're five and six hundred pounds, your heart is like going, whoa. And I don't do that at home. You know, I make enough that I have one plate full and I'm done and I'm satisfied, you know. And I know I'm big, but I'm not big because of food. I'm mostly big because of eating food and not getting exercise. I, I don't exercise. And so it's, it's actually the food that I do eat just sits there and not good. So, I do eat, but then I don't get much exercise. That's where, if I exercise and just eat what I eat, I'd be fine. I'd be at a good weight. So, but to go to these all-you-can-eat restaurants, people should not do that. Ugh. Because it's like, well, you're just going in there to commit suicide, in my opinion. You know? Hmm. You only need this much food to fill your stomach up. And I'm learning now, when I do make my plates, I try to just put a little bit of everything. And how long have I gone? Oh, nine minutes. Just put a little bit of everything. Not so much, you know. Um, because I, I actually do get fuller than what my eyes tell me to, that I'm getting. I usually, you know, your eyes want to say, put a lot of this, put a lot of that, and put... You know, I'm beginning to learn that I can, I'm can. i more honest with what I put on my plate. Um, because it doesn't take as so much to fill me up as I think. Like, I just ate that 
a little bit of that tuna salad with some crackers. I'm full. I'm full. You know, I don't need anything else. So, uh, it takes a lot less to fill you up than you think. Like the other day, I just fixed me three pieces of bacon. Well, I know bacon's not good for you, but I had three pieces with a piece of toast and a banana. I was full. That was all I needed. I think if more of us would just listen to our bodies, tell us, it tells you when you're full. And you'd get along a lot better. But I think too many people are eating out at restaurants, fast food restaurants, and I think it's a, it's a tragedy because I think they're out to kill us with their junk, nasty food. As Janet Jackson would say, don't like no nasty food, because that food is nasty. I just think it's plain nasty. You know, I like to make things from scratch, get, eat frozen vegetables, not canned, eat more fruits and vegetables. Uh, I think my body just goes, mmm, you're so good to me. <laughs> you know, not eating all that McDonald's and rallies and, you know, whatever places you have in your town that are nasty food. Once in a while, I do have some of that nasty food, but I think to have a steady diet of it is just wrong. R W R O N, whatever G is. <laughs> so, that's my blog about the food the business loves. I guess I'm out, because I'm at 11 minutes now. No one's going to stay that long, except for maybe my friend Melinda. <laughs> uh, toodles.